this is uh, SSR MP1 model this is a second model from DDR3 there is a comparison between all the models in another video we have uh, current and then potential and then uh, start button and the stop button when you are taking a reading you can just press the stop and this is to power on and off and this is to connect the battery and the fuse is for display and the other fuse is for the instrument so when the display is not working you have to check the fuse and when the instrument is not working then you have to check the bigger fuse and this is a 24 volt battery with a 4 pin connector and uh, this has a battery indication and this 3 pin and the 4 pin are connected by a reference cable the battery indication starts from 25 to 100 once it reaches 50 percent you need to stop the survey and then charge the battery now we are connecting the instrument to the battery and the 4 pin and the 3 pin should sit exactly on the slit the slit on the th 3 pin should exactly go and sit in the battery pack 3 sort when you are tightening rotate the wheel and then press down rotate the wheel and press down when you are pulling also you need to rotate the wheel and pull rotate the wheel and pull don't directly pull the cable or don't twist on the top you must always rotate the wheel or the instrument gets short circuited so we are connecting the first end and the second end 4 pin is going to the battery to avoid the confusion battery is given with 4 pin and uh, instrument is given with the 3 pin so once the connection is made the charging will be shown here so make sure you are charging the battery enough before going for a survey now we will be connecting the electrodes so we are connecting the current electrodes C1 and C2 and the potential electrodes P1 and P2 in this SSR MP1 model we will be using uh, current electrodes as stainless steel and potential also stainless steel electrodes this instrument can go up to a depth of 600 meters so once the connections are done we need to just press the start button so turn on the instrument and then press the start once we start the press once we press the start button then uh, we will see the measurement is on so when the measurement is on make sure no one is touching the electrode so in this model you don't have to control the current or the potential or uh, sp cancellation everything will be done automatically because of the microprocessor so if you are taking the readings and if you want to stop at a particular reading you need to press and hold the stop button before one reading that means if you want to save a sixth reading so you press and hold at five and then the sixth reading will be paused once it is done you can change the electrode by pressing either stop or power off or start on so you can change and directly go for the press option again so the next separation you will get uh, the current the potential are ready and here you will get the current in milliamps and the resistance so in DDR3 you need to give and control the current and voltage but in this instrument it will do everything on its own and directly give you the R value so this is how we will be doing the survey and when you are uh, pressing the current and changing the electrode you don't have to turn off the instrument always you can directly go for the start option and then take the next reading this instrument will give up to 64 stacking so to save time you can directly press the stop and hold then the reading will be paused at a particular stack so if anything goes wrong with the current electrode then this gives a message of check current electrode so you need to make sure the current electrode is properly grounded and also the wires are connected properly to the electrode the same way if there is a problem in the potential any disconnection then you need to check and uh, you'll observe that this instrument will be showing you 
a difference like uh, the potential and also shows the increasing i when this message is shown you need to change the potential electrodes to a little closer to the current electrodes if there is a discontinuity in the potential it will show you a big signal low and increase the ccmn uh, and uh, the resistance values will be very fluctuating up and down so you need to make sure the contact of uh, potential electrodes and current electrodes before starting a survey so this is uh, the end of the survey and uh, you need to check the low battery indication also whenever uh, the low battery light is continuously on that means the battery is down anyways you have a charger so you can see or on the battery display you can see then also you can understand whether the battery is running or not when the small fuse is gone it will show you the check current electrode so whenever you have a problem in the field check current electrode you need to check the wires and at the same time check the small fuse also if the small fuse is broken immediately replace the small fuse and the bigger fuse is for the whole unit so when you when the instrument is not turning on even the battery is charged so you need to check the bigger fuse and replace it then the instrument will turn on now i just took out the instrument fuse and then it is not working i place it again now it is working